Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope that you decide to stick around. Today I am sharing some great news. I am so excited to be giving you my debt update. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. If you did not catch my last video, you definitely should go back and check it out. I go into a lot more detail about everything that led us up to this point in our lives, that led us up to this point of debt. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna do a quick overview for those of you that are new. So earlier this year, we did move to California and we purchased a home and all of the things that come with a home. We moved from Germany, so it was an intercontinental move. We did have some stays in hotels. And for those of you that don't really know how it works, um, basically you have movers pack up all of your stuff, they put it into crates, and then they ship it in a shipping container on a boat across the ocean. And it takes quite some time for it to arrive. So as all of that was happening, we were staying in hotels, um, so we were homeless for a little while. Our vehicles got shipped as well. We have two vehicles. One of them was shipped through the military and the other one was shipped through the company that we bought it, Volvo. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. On these credit cards that you're about to see, we have a bunch of stuff charged on there, like eating out. We have some appliances like our washer, dryer, refrigerator. We did need all of that because when you are overseas in the military, the military does provide those things to you because of the different voltage. I don't want to go into too much detail, but just know that they provide that to us. And when you move, you have to obviously give it back because it's just like on loan. So when we arrived over here, we needed to buy new ones. So we did buy those appliances and then we needed a bunch of household items because some of our stuff took longer to arrive than we had initially imagined. Some crates got lost. All kinds of stuff happened. You name it, it happened. So anyways, one of the things that happened was our car got delayed. And when I say delayed, it was forgotten. Like they actually forgot it at the port. Like they actually left it in the parking lot they were going to load it onto the truck for whatever reason they didn't load it and they just forgot about it for a month until we reached out to them and we said hey our vehicle is still there what is going on i thought it was supposed to be shipped out by now which we had an air tag in the vehicle so we knew exactly where it was and they were like no no i assure you it's on the boat and we were like that's not what we're seeing. You know, we didn't really want to divulge that we had hidden an air tag in the vehicle, but we were like, I know it's not on the boat. Like you need to go look into this further. So anyway, after lots and lots and lots of back and forth with them, they finally did figure out that they had not loaded it on the truck. And so it didn't actually get sent out until a month, almost a month and a half later than it was originally supposed to. And then the journey, across the ocean usually takes a couple of weeks if not a month and then um, once it does port in the united states then it does have to go through customs and then it has to get transported and all these things right so anyways we needed to rent a vehicle and it is extremely expensive to rent vehicles especially in california so we were really upset with them and they provided this service for free it was included as one of the perks of buying a new vehicle through Volvo. So we were upset and, you know, we felt like our hands were tied because it was a free service that they were providing to us. But at the same time, I mean, it wasn't really free. Like we did buy a very expensive vehicle through them. So I ended up reaching out to them numerous times and to different people. Finally, I found someone that you know was hearing me out that understood where i was coming from and was willing to help well once he was willing to help then he needed to get management involved 
and it was basically a really long journey from there. But the good news that I have to share is that they approved reimbursing the rental for us. I, oh my gosh, I am so excited. So I actually received the news that they were going to reimburse us a couple of weeks ago, but they never actually sent the reimbursement. And so I thought maybe they just, you know, said that to me so that I could just stop emailing them. But of course, I mean, it's expensive, so I didn't want to just give up on that. I continued to ask for updates. I continued to just be adamant that they hurry up because it's been months now. We received our vehicle back in February, I believe. So we didn't actually pick up our vehicle at the dealership until like the end of March. And that was when we were able to return our rental. And that is when I was also able to give them you know, all the receipts and ask for the reimbursement now that I knew what the whole total was and everything. And so it's been a little bit of back and forth. And finally this morning I received the link to go ahead and have the money transferred. They did like a wire transfer of the funds. So now I know it's real. Now I know I can share it. Now I know that I can celebrate it. Guys, and when I write this number down, you're going to see why I'm so excited that they approved it because oh, it is such an amazing thing. Like, I really didn't think that it was going to happen. Initially, my husband was like, well, you know, that's, that's just what happens when you're in the military. You deal with stuff like this. And he didn't discourage me from asking for it, but he did try to make sure that I wasn't too disappointed if it didn't actually happen. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the update. So no more talking. <laughs> well, actually, yes, some more talking, but I'm actually gonna give you the update now. Hey guys, so this initial one, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, I paid it off. Um, so it is at zero currently, but we do have revolving um, things that get charged on there, like our light, um, our water bill, our garbage pickup service, all of that gets charged on there because we do earn points on that. And so we do have that like revolving and I just pay it off once we get paid because it's a regular part of our budget. But this is what you guys have been waiting to see. So they reimbursed us, where can I write it? They reimbursed us $1,800. Yes, guys, they reimbursed us $1,800. Can you believe that? And then I already had um, planned to give a big payment on this for our debt snowball. So right now, the current balance is $485. Guys, I'm so excited because we'll be able to pay off this this month. Like, this is going to... This is putting us ahead by like two, almost three months. Like we are gonna be able to pay this off this month with my husband's next paycheck. We're gonna be able to just knock this one out. Okay, so sorry, I am so excited. I just, you know, when good things happen, you have to celebrate them. So anyways, um, let's just keep going. The next one is now at 30. 610 i just gave the minimum payment on that one because like i said we are doing the debt snowball and then on our purple mattress 4160 um i just gave 240 because i like to have it like at a round number don't ask me why i just i just do so i gave 240 i rounded it up a little bit but yeah that is where we are at now i am just so so excited you guys like this this right here this right here is just amazing like i am so happy some people would probably say like you know yeah as they should have or you know whatever but you can never count your ducks or count your chickens or whatever the saying is you can't count your chickens before the eggs hatch whatever it is you know what I mean? Um, you can't do that because at the end of the day, sometimes things don't work out 
And so I didn't want to celebrate too early, but now that it is done, now that the money's in our account, now that the payment is scheduled, it's done. Like it's a done deal. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this debt update as much as I did. If you want more information on like our debt and our debt journey, go back and watch my debt confession video. I share a whole lot on there, maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!